up next on weekly gaming and hardware news. Diablo 3, FIFA 12, PlayStation Vita, and Xbox Live and w Windows 8 Wedding. No, I'm not kidding, it's actually a wedding. Let's start with Diablo 3. Blizzard has revealed one new difference that Diablo 2 players will find in the new Diablo 3. It's about the stash, ladies and gentlemen. That one stash, that one chest in which characters can store objects found around the world. Well, in the new edition, the chest is common to all characters from a single user and it can be enlarged up to 5 freaking times, reaching up to 350 places to store. Gold, however, will not be stored in the stash since it is still common to all characters on one account. Unfortunately, these bonuses will not be available uh, for the exchange of objects between normal and hardcore characters. That's a bummer. The link is below in the description bar. Moving on with more Diablo. It is damn right clear that something is happening behind the Blizzard's Carton of Doom. As in recent days we have a constant stream of news about Diablo 3. Hey, hooray! The new information comes in the form of so-called Diablo 3 Skill Calculator. A web app application that can calculate what level is required for a, a character to acquire skills that players can choose beforehand. Very interesting. Thus is revealed the entire three passive skills uh, and abilities of the all five classes of characters to be included in Diablo 3. And an interesting method to plan in time the development of a character before the appearance of the game. The application is available already, so click the damn link below! Haha! <laughs> Moving on to FIFA 12. Although the PC and Xbox 360 versions of FIFA 12 demo are already available since 3 days ago, today, among the weekly update on the PlayStation Network in Europe, the demo will be launched for the PlayStation 3. With this event begins the countdown to game launch later this month and it will mark an important moment for the series, the first appearance on HD consoles. Aha! The console version and the PC will be identical from uh, as uh, from the whatever graphics and gameplay point of view. Clicky 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 please. Moving on uh, to hardware stuff. PlayStation Vita. I don't know if you know, guys know this, uh, it's a continuation of PlayStation um, Go, initially disclosed through a leak due to rehearsals for the conference last night at the Tokyo Game Show, Sony has now confirmed the release date for the PlayStation Vita. Hey, idiots! Congrats! The console will be debuted in Japan as we already expected before the end of this year, on 17th of December if I remember correctly. Price remained unchanged from the E3 announcements, the Japanese can take possession of such a console in exchange for 29,980 euros. Oh no, sorry, that was yens. For the 3G versions or the Wi-Fi edition for a couple of thousands less. Check the description bar for the assumed list of games supported by the Vita at launch. Uh, moving on to Xbox Live into the Windows 8 platform. Major Nelson announced via his blog, for those who have watched the Event Build 2011 conference, that Xbox Live will be included in the following PC operating system from Microsoft. That's Windows 8. Yeah, you guessed it. This is good news, not only for the PC gamers, but also for the owners of an Xbox 360. Whereas the same service will be available on both platforms. For PC gamers on the good news is that maybe it will have access to more games than normally uh, would a PC gamer have. Um, ex for example, those that um, Xbox 360 exclusives. While the games for Windows Live platform, yeah, well that's about to rot in hell. Xbox 360 gamers will enjoy, but the benefits it brings interrogation into Windows 8 throughout access to all purchases from, my from the marketplace as the video marketplace or the Zune marketplace. So please sh be sure to check this out in the description link below. There's the link. I have organized everything in an ordinary fashion. So that's it for uh, this week, ladies and gentlemen. The main theme was indeed Diablo. I had some hardware news for you, uh, just for you to keep 
not on trolling I'll head back to my exams unfortunately and leave you guys to it have tons of fun and as always keep it real bye bye